Welcome back to I Know Football. I have another review for you guys. This is one of the most anticipated reviews in the last year that uh, you guys wanted to see. So I uh, contacted Cutters and Cutters actually hooked me up with some gloves. Uh, you, you saw them in the unboxing for me to test out. And they also hooked me up with a couple other things for me to give away to some of the subscribers. So before I get into the review, let me share with you some of the things that I'll be giving away. So stay tuned for the details, watch the review, and uh, look in the description and on the Facebook page for exactly how to win. But uh, the winner of this giveaway will be getting uh, a set of their own cutter gloves. Uh, these are the Cutters X40. Uh, they are a size extra large. Um, so sorry, I don't have other sizes to give away, but this is the size that, uh, you know, they did give me. Um, so the winner will get a set of Cutters gloves. They'll also get a Cutters t-shirt. So it's a white t-shirt uh, with the logo. And uh, this size is actually a size large, uh, just like my other giveaway. And the last thing is going to be a Cutters Playmaker Wrist Coach. So um, here it is for you. Um, you know, I'll be giving these three things away uh, of the winner of this video. So without further ado, let me get into the review. So one of the things that made me want to try Cutters gloves is besides all you guys telling me, you know, I had to try Cutters. I'm a Nike fan and I tried Nike gloves, Under Armour gloves. Um, I want to try Cutters, but my team is navy and white, if you didn't know. And uh, what I've been using, I mean, I have so many gloves, you see my reviews, but one of my favorite pair of gloves are the all-white Vapor Carbons that I call my Mickey Mouse gloves. Uh, every pick that I've gotten, I happen to be wearing these gloves, so these are definitely some of my favorite. Uh, and I wear them during away games, sometimes during home games, but I really wanted a pair of solid blue gloves, and, um, you know, there, I didn't have one from Nike. So uh, one of the things I think a best move that Cutters did was come up with the X40 Solid, so... I saw one of my friends wearing all, a pair of all red, and uh, they were too raw. So I was like, I looked on the website, I saw all blue, and I was like, you know what? Uh, these look pretty good. So you see some pros wear them, and uh, all different colors, and I think they look really good. Much better than the other Cutters designs that don't have solid colors. That was my problem, mainly with Cutters, is that when you look at a glove like Nike, the design, the Nike designs are just better uh, in general. But... They don't make a solid, so the solid color is something that like really stands out from any other glove on the field. Besides, of course, uh, you know you guys think the grip. So uh, this is what it came with. You might have seen it in the unboxing, but cutters, uh, the gloves, they came with this, and it tells you the basically the amount of grip. So the cutters is in green. It says it has way more, way more grip than the Vapor Jets. Um, what I have and what I'm going to compare it to is actually the uh, Vapor Jet, the Carbon Vapor Jets or vapor carbons uh, which have more grip they have super grip versus vapor jets banded grip so i don't know what the coefficient friction rating is um but you know I, I do real world tests so we'll see how it performed wet and dry and everything else uh so basically first let's talk about the fit um you know they fit very well um you know a lot like the vapor carbons um so it's an easy fit the one thing they do is they flex a bit more um you know than like my carbons that's one thing is the quality of the leather at least in the carbons is a, a really poor synthetic um you know i'll have another glove review this season i'll show you what the old nike leather gloves used to be like but there's more flex here and it's probably due to this mesh panel here it allows your hand to flex more over the knuckle whereas you know you're a little bit restricted so your hand doesn't flex as easy as it is over here um so there's a couple things that make a glove great right of course, you're going to have the grip. That's going to make a good glove. You're going to have the fit. That's going to make a good glove. Uh, you're going to have the design. And then you're also going to have what is called ball feel. It's just, you know, through the glove, how well can you actually feel the football and feel like you're wearing no glove. So if you think about ball feel, it's like the difference of wearing um, a winter glove and a football glove. Like you really can't feel the ball in a winter glove. So uh, both of these have good ball feel, but I think the Cutters has better ball feel. And that's going to make for a little better glove in that department in terms of ball feel. Uh, the other good thing about Carter's is um, the fit. It fits nice. It fits tight. It doesn't feel like it has a long breaking period. Um, you know, I've only used them a couple times, so I can't tell you, uh, you know, if they're going to feel a little bit better after I wear them for a little bit. Um, and then I think if you've seen the Under Armour video, like the warp speeds, one problem I had is with the cuff is that it would just flap around. So these don't flap. You know, that one was like wagging like a dog's tail. 
These don't flat a lot like the Nike gloves, so you can still flip them up if you like to wear your gloves like this. The only disadvantage that Cutters has over Nike is that they put the tag right here. So Cutters, if you're listening, uh, you got to put this tag somewhere else because people do wear the gloves like this and uh, it doesn't look tight. You know, you might be able to put a little Cutters logo here as opposed to putting the little tag right there. Um, and then we'll get to the actual grip. So in terms of just a normal grip, I did feel initially right out of the box that they grip better than uh, my Nike gloves. Um, you know, they felt amazing. I was like, wow, these are really sticky. They're flexible. Um, so I really liked it. Uh, one thing that I did notice, and that's the same thing with Nike gloves too, is that once they get dusty, because I was practicing in the indoor facility, you might have seen uh, the Vapor Jet 2 review. Um, I think I had, or I think I posted a picture where I was wearing a variation of Cutter's gloves, but once they get dusty, I mean, you lose your grip on both of these gloves. So the one thing that I always do is I wear a towel. Uh, part of my towel is going to be damp. Part of it's going to be dry. And I'll just, when the ball gets dusty, or I mean my gloves get dusty or dirty, is I just grab the towel in the wet part with my glove, you know, get it wet, and I grab the dry part. And that's going to take off some of the dust. You can see the dust on here already. And that's what happens. And that's going to make you lose some of your grip. So um, it's still sticky. And, you know, if you want me to do the test or whatever, you can still hold it. You know, at the tip, you still do that. You could do it with the Nike glove too. So I mean, you know, it's nothing out of the ordinary. But I would have to say they're very close in comparison. Uh, if you're looking for a solid glove color, uh, I would recommend the the Cutters X40 Solid. Um, if you're looking for a, a glove, a Cutters glove with great ball feel, that's a little bit thinner than this. You're gonna go with the C17. Um, that's gonna be thinner. That's gonna you know have a little better ball feel. And uh, the only thing is it's not as durable. So the thing I do like about cutters is they when they talk about washing the glove, all you're going to do is you're going to put them in the washer. Um, I haven't tried washing them yet. Obviously, I ha they're not dirty. So, um, And that's one thing that you know Nike doesn't tell you. I've put these in, and I haven't lost a lot of grip, but you know I wouldn't do that too many times. So uh, that's definitely a benefit that cutters is going to have over Nike. So um, hopefully that answers your questions in terms of our view for cutters gloves and what I thought about it. Um, if I compared it to the the Vapor Carbons, I would say they're kind of on par. Uh, obviously, I, I went over the benefits of the Carbons and the benefits of Cutters. Uh, the Vapor Jets, they're a little bit thinner, so they're going to have better ball feel, but the grip is not going to be as sticky. Um, so, there, so there you have it. So if you like my review, remember to give it a thumbs up, uh, share, uh, subscribe, and uh, remember that... To enter the contest, the descriptions for the the details are in the description, and you will win a pair of Cutters gloves. You will win the win the wrist coach, and you will also win the T-shirt. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoy my review, and I will see you next time.